Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you do what I do. I sing and play. Yeah? Do you yeah. play the keyboard then? Yeah. Cool. That's how I wrote uh, Love of a Lifetime, Don't Treat Me Bad. A lot of Firehouse songs are actually mm -hmm. written on keyboards and then we transcribe them to guitar. Cool. She hears Don't Treat Me Bad. Do you know that song? Yeah, It sounds sure. really weird on uh, keyboard. You know, it's like... Dun, 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 you know, it's just weird. Yeah. You know, it sounds very different. Same thing with I Live My Life for You. Mm -hmm. I was sleeping, you know, at 5 in the morning, I woke up. It was dark outside, I had that song in my mm -hmm. head. And I went right to the piano and I started working on it. This is how you just get your inspiration. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're sleeping, then you wake up, you get a song in your mind, and you just have to Sometimes. Talk about it. You write songs? Yeah, I do. So, it comes different yeah. ways at different times. Sometimes you get an idea with the words. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get a melody, you know. Yeah. Generally with lyrics, though, I don't know about you, mm -hmm. I have a tendency to get an idea, a theme. Say, for example, All She Wrote. You know, uh, Michael said that in a conversation, our drummer one time. Mm -hmm. He said, well, that's all she wrote, meaning it's done. You know, it's all over. And I'm like, oh, you know, I can make that about a, a letter of a girl saying goodbye to a guy. And I wrote it kind of backwards from the chorus, mm -hmm. you know, the hook, mm -hmm. we call it. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And besides Firehouse, do you have any work of yourself? I do. Music? I do, actually. I'm working with a guitar player from England. Mm -hmm. And his name is, do you want me to look at you or there? No, doesn't matter. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working with a guitar player right now. His mm -hmm. name is Chris Green. Mm -hmm. And he is from a band, he's played in a band called Pride. And Pride, I've heard about Yeah, them. from England, Brighton, England. Mm -hmm. And Furion. It's a new band on the scene, but he and I are working together, and the name of our project is called One Wish. One Wish. Right. Yeah. And yeah, you got to check it out, One Wish. One Wish is a CJ Snare uh, solo project with Chris Green on guitar, and I would describe it as being heavier than Firehouse, but yeah. still with the emphasis on the melody. Yeah. You know, I, it's my voice, it's my style. We still have ballads, but it's more of a modern, uh, heavy rock sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't get out of the hard rock line, but it's heavier than... It is heavier than Firehouse. I think it's more more uh, of a modern heavy sound. Mm -hmm. Instead of the, uh, the 80s and 90s quote-unquote hair bands type mm -hmm. of, you know, that sort of thing. I mean, I have done that, mm -hmm. and I'm still happy to do that with Firehouse, but I needed to explore uh, different territory. Yeah. You know. But it's not a left turn into outer space. I mm -hmm. mean, I think that I'll be able to bring along a lot of my old fans and make some new ones as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And what are your expectations in Brazil about the concert and everything? Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. You know, we came here in 95 and we did uh, some funny things like uh, Shoe Shot. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, it was a great experience, you know. <laughs> but Kids program, yeah. 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 And they put us on some other show, I think it was based in Sao Paulo, mm -hmm. with, uh, uh, there were cars in the background and things like that, you know, there were... Some kind of parade or something? No, it was a game show. Okay. You know, like, imagine a showroom and a, a stage and TV with a brand new car back there yeah. with, with a price tag on it, you know, and they were giving it away, and there was a short, blonde-haired man. Yeah, goo goo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on there playing our songs, you know. But I really uh, um, remember Brazil because it stuck in my mind. The people yeah. were also very friendly to us. And I remember also the food, you know, the first time I had a churrascaria, you know. It was like, Everybody oh, talks about churrascaria. Yeah. It's really good now, though, to be coming back to Brazil to do a real live show. You know, we can show people what we're really mm -hmm. made of, not just on Shusha, you know. Yeah, <laughs> of course. And has Firehouse ever stopped and you're coming back or now? You never stop because never stopped. You always kept on going in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, never stopped. In 1990, our first album came out. Mm -hmm. And we have perpetually toured the world, you know, I mean, all around. We just played in India not too long ago. Oh, wow. 40,000 people in the stadium sold out for Firehouse only. We're, we have such a wide world market, especially in Asia and everything, and in the United States. So we've never gone away. I'm hoping that a lot of people will come out to the show. And, you know, I hope that the real die-hard Firehouse and Ted Poley fans will come out 
and you know each bring ten friends and that it can snowball from there, meaning that, you know, like ripples in a pond when you drop the pebble yeah. in. It just keeps going out and out and out. And I hope that they tell everybody and the show's a success so that we can keep coming back here. Yeah, and I hope you can come yeah. back, of course. Okay? Yeah. Thanks a lot. So please tell them a message. I think they want to hear something from you, something special from you. Something special. What do you wish from them? Something special for me. I'm really not wearing any underwear right now. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to land, no. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, you know what, it's really so, uh, so much of a thrill for us to be back in Brazil. And uh, we're just thankful that you guys are still going to care about Firehouse, and that you're still going to come support us at our shows, and that you still listen to us. We look forward to uh, meeting everybody. I know that we're going to be doing a signing on Saturday, mm -hmm. the day before the show, and then we'll have the opportunity to uh, shake hands with everybody, say hello. Where and is it going to be? That's a good question. I think it's in Tijuca, at a place called Headbangers. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, in a Galleria or something, so it should be good. You know, we're going to have a fun time shaking hands and, and kissing babies <laughs> and everything there. <laughs> and then at our show, I'm so excited because they're going to really get to see what we're all about. You know, um, it's a real nice compliment when people come up to you and say consistently at shows, you know, you guys are one of the few bands that actually sounds like your CD. Mm -hmm. And we place a, a lot of emphasis on that. So after the show, you tell me if yeah. that's true or not. Okay? Yeah, of course. Okay, all right. All right. Let me know. It'll be so, great. Uh, we're going to get in everybody's face. We're going to get right in there. <laughs> we're going to rock hard and we're also going to do the ballads. You know, one of the things that I would ask uh, any fans, if they could, uh, you know, let us know at the uh, in-store, at the Galleria, their headbangers. Mm -hmm. Maybe each person could tell me their top five songs they'd like to hear. And that way we can help, you can help us base our set list around what you think the Brazilian audience would like to hear. All she wrote, yeah, we'll absolutely do that. <laughs> We were just talking about that. Bye, yeah. baby, bye, bye. Yeah. We do it. Got a little, hair's a little shorter. I didn't keep the hair like Ted did, you know. It's uh, here now. <laughs> but uh, the music's the same. Yeah, the energy is right. what matters. Well, for us, it was never really about the hair or the clothes or the image. Yeah. It was always first and foremost the music. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. Right? Thank you very much. Thank you. It was a great interview. Thanks a lot. De nada. <laughs>